Well, hi everybody. I um, received my order from Tracy at uh, uh, Art Attack Supplies. Hi Tracy! And um, uh, I just love her stuff. I mean, I just... She caters so much to me. I live in Canada and um, I know that she really has to go out of her way to send me stuff because she doesn't usually send to Canada. And um, uh, Tracy, I really appreciate it because I love the stuff you sell. It's gorgeous. Anyways, I um, ordered a heat tool. And this is the stuff that writes on um, uh, foil. And that's what it looks like. It's pretty neat. Except I can't get the battery thing to open up. I'll have to get my husband to do that. And it takes batteries. I thought it would be electrical, but apparently not. So you have to put in three AAA batteries. And uh, so that's kind of what it looks like. Actually, it doesn't feel too bad. It feels like a pen. Thick pen, but still a pen. Uh, we have memory keepers. They have some great tools, so I just love it. It also comes with a little roll of uh, foil tape. Uh, looks like there's quite a bit in there, so that's kind of cool. So that was the packaging for that, so I'm going to throw that out now. Um, I also have been buying the Doohickey uh, Club magazines, and I don't have Volume 1, and I have Volume 2, and the... Um, dies to go with that but I don't I didn't get the early bird because I didn't start buying these until um, later on and as you see I haven't opened any of them yet and uh, there's no reason for that I have four someplace and I decided to put them all together because you know then I would know where they are um, I have volumes 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, I think, but I can't seem to find 4. Now, the one thing I've noticed about me is I love to put things away anywhere, and when I find and get afterwards, it always seems to be a problem. You know, being organized is great if you are consistently organized. Not like me, who just likes to put everything randomly in a box somewhere, hoping at some time that I will find it again. Which, mm, chances are not, because, you know. So now I have to dig through uh, and see if I have Volume 4. And if Tracy, if you're watching this, um, did I buy Volume 4? Uh, I think I did. Well, let me know. Anyways. That's the Doohickey Club. They are totally great. They come with the dies and all kinds of inspirational uh, stuff. And when I have a minute to really look through them, then that's what I'm going to do. So that's that. Uh, she gave me some little butterflies on there. So cute. Uh, from Magnolia. Look at them. Aren't they cute? Uh, and... I got these ones. Now, I thought, I, I'm wondering if you can take that foil and foil these. You know, like put a little bit of gold on them. I have to try that out, girls, and let you know whether I can do that or not. I did buy the extra packages of um, foil, and I got blue, because you know my favorite color is blue, and I got gold. Now, I should have got silver. I don't know what I was thinking, but I can always order it. Got that. Then I got this paper pad. Um, this is called Pebbles, and it's from Jen Hatfield. And um, that's sealed. I guess I can unseal it. Meanwhile, um, I'll unseal that in a minute, uh, so I'll move on. I got the stencil. I don't know if you can see this or not, but it's a stencil. It's got hello to, from, happy, congrat, today, life, love. So I have to try that out too. I especially want to do the hello one. 
And I'm wondering if I can do that on a pocket file or it has to be on paper. Yeah, I'll let you know that too. And it's got thank you on it. Looks like it only does it on cards, but you know I'll experiment with anything. She has this new paper line. Um, with this, um, it's called Art Premium Paper Pad. And it has this girl on it, and I think, of course I have red hair, but I love this picture. I love this picture. This picture. This one. I love this. I take that out. It's got little shinies on it and everything. And put it in a frame and keep it. But this is some of the paper in this paper line. Now see, I like this. I love that. I like the little hearts. Of course, I love, like the steampunk. I still miss my steampunk. I've been doing a lot of shabby, chic stuff, but really, um, I still like steampunk. These are cute. Now, there you can feel this. It's got like a raised um, border on it. That's very cool. I don't know whether she has more than these or just the one. I'll have to find out. Very pretty. Okay, this is nice. I love this. I love this. This is oh so very nice. So very nice. Okay, um, moving on. I also did buy all the, and I'm dying to try these. I bought these clear stamps with this girl on it. Who is this girl, anyways? I don't know. Uh, Santoro clear stamps. But they're very cool. I want to stamp them out and show you what they look like. And I got all five. I love this girl. I don't know why. Now she's taken over my... Uh... She just looks so... I don't know what the word is for it. I love that with owls. My girlfriend will like that. She likes owls. Yeah. This one's got a fox in it. This has got flowers in it. It's got a little bird cage. Now that will be cute. I, I'm going to punch that one first. I'm surprised I'm even using them because I hoard everything. I figure out too that I'm definitely a hoarder. I'm a scrapbook hoarder. There's no other word for it. I can't get rid of anything. I I love all my stuff. I I just I can't. I just can't. And I keep buying new stuff because it looks so pretty. Like this gypsy gypsy paper. Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. Now, I mean, look at that. That alone is to die for. Are you kidding me? This is in the postcard stuff on the back of it. And this is all sparkly. And I love the butterfly. Oh, see? There you go. You get... This is like a foil... And I love this. It's got a little sheen to it. So if they would stop coming out with paper that I really love, then I would be happy. Look at this. It's got little bugs and everything on it. Oh. And all this stuff is like breeze. You can actually feel it. It's like, look at the sheen on that. I don't know if you can see that. It's beautiful. See, words don't describe when you're looking at videos because this paper is totally totally gorgeous. Now, I'm not too in love with deers, but you know what? I do like this. But you know, if I'm doing a card, um, I have four boys, so three boys, three boys. I'm going to try to give myself an extra one over there. You know, this kind of paper comes in handy because you got to do a car or you got to do something. Uh, they all got birthdays coming up, so but you know, now this is pretty and I like it, but I like bling, but you know, this will be, I have to use this because, you know, they're into hunting and all that kind of stuff, so that's perfect. And this is kind of wild. Yeah. I don't know if I like stuff so dizzy. 
Um, I think me being dizzy is good enough. I don't need to have paper like that. Ha ha ha. But I do like this. This is not too bad. Now this is sharp. Even though it's dizzy. It has little um, pictures in it. This is very cool. I like this. Oh, butterflies. It's got all kinds of color. You could use any kind of matting with it. And then they give you this, like, cutout piece, I guess. And, I mean, that's what I would do with it. Although they don't come out. You'd have to cut them, but that's pretty cool. Unless you wanted to really... You could use it for, um... No, I don't think so. I was going to say you could use it for a mini album or something, but no, I don't think so. I think you have to cut them out. So there's some fussy cutting. Anyways, check out our store for this paper. It is gorgeous. You, you just... It's just totally, totally, totally gorgeous. It's beautiful, beautiful paper. Beautiful. I love that. You know, I get so crazy with paper. That's why I don't... I mean, I, I have like 5,000 tons of paper, but oh, here I am buying more. Um, now, this one um, is the same kind of paper, I think. Oh. Okay. Now, I like this. Uh, some people are going to say, ah, I don't know, but I do like this. I like this. I'm not much of a person on chevron, and I know that that's really in style. This also has a real sheen on it. Uh, very pretty. Very, very, very pretty. No, I like that. I like the little birds. Oh, I like this. This is cute. Now I could use that. Uh... Not too crazy about the gray. I'm figuring out. I like dark colors, but um, I like the vintage browns and, you know, like this is pretty. This is different. <laughs> you know, this reminds me of one of those things where you keep staring at the picture and you see another picture in the picture uh, there's actually little birds here in in this design <laughs> I love the feathers I think Tracy showed this one with the feathers I love the feathers this is all feathers too oh very nice I like that this is pretty this is really pretty. Now that'd make a great scrapbooking page. I don't really do scrapbooking too much anymore. Uh, I do mini albums and stuff like that. And again, you get another one of these cutout pages. I think that's what you're supposed to do with them. I would think so. It's got like, you know, tags and stuff. I'd have a hard time cutting out those little uh, little little bird a little um, feathers so that's the, the two um, pads I bought and I love this I will get some more you know even though I'm not supposed to be doing that uh, I was in this freeze group but unfortunately oh I work for scrapbooking uh, you know Scrapbooking doesn't work for me. I work for it because I'm so addicted to it. My daughter-in-law got me started in this, and I'm sure that my husband could curse the day that she did because, you know, now he's getting interested in my, in my packages, but I think really he's getting interested in how much money I'm actually spending on this stuff. So now he waits and comes home at noon hour to get the mail. I have to beat him to the mail if I, you know, really don't want him to see something. And, uh, he, uh, 
uh, brings all the packages in and then waits until I open them pretending that he's really interested in it. And I said to him tonight, because Tracy's came in a big box and he uh, came in the afternoon and I was working and so he puts it on the bed and then he waits for me to come home because he won't really open it. I mean, he hasn't gone that far yet. But uh, as soon as I get home, he goes in the bedroom because that's I put my purse and everything in my bedroom and, and uh, waits until I get home and then he runs into the bedroom to wait for me to open the package. And then he says, oh, I'm, I'm really interested in what you've got. And I thought, no, you're not. What do you care about paper? You don't care about paper. Are you kidding me? So I'm not exactly sure what exactly he's doing, but I'll figure it out. This is just recently he started doing this. Okay, this is a little pad I bought. I like that color. Turquoise. Oh, it's got some cutouts in it. Cool. And uh, accounting paper. I have tons of this stuff. I mean, real life. Tons of it. This is cool for cards. Oh, I like the word one. That one's pretty too. Of course, anything blue, I like that. They must have several pages of the same thing. This is cool. Okay, that's it. Oh, yeah, I did. Uh, I don't know if you guys are um, aware of this. There's a um, top hatter. It's like an um, auction place. Years ago, I was really stuck on it, and, and I used to get really, really good deals, but, you know, as time goes, things change, and now you don't get so good deals. I bought these little tiny leaves, and I think they were $2, but the shipping kills me. But I ordered a bunch of stuff from the same girl, so she knocked off the shipping, which is not too bad. These are little tiny turtles and I just get these for my charms that I make and she gave me a couple little flowers for free always nice that you get something for free in your package and I got some space thingies for you know they're a little bigger than what I thought that's the other thing sometimes when you don't see something you don't know exactly the size of it but, yeah, I'll use them. And then I got a whole box of little tiny spacers. And they're in copper. Um, but they're kind of nice. But they're just, I wanted just tiny ones to put in between my beads. And I don't really have anything, so now I have a whole box of them. And I think this was $8 for all of the whole box. And there's 500 pieces in there. So that will keep me going for a long time. So, um, I think that's it. I don't think I bought anything else. Unlike me, who buys everything. Um, oh yeah, I did get this ring. I bought the ring. That was $20, I think. Um, but it's cute. Uh, just a dinner ring. You know. I think that's it. I think that I will finish off this video. Go check out Tracy at Art Attack. She has some great stuff. And for you girls in the States, I know that she gives wonderful, wonderful, wonderful service. And I get great service and I'm in Canada. So if you live in the States, you're going to get, you know, even greater service. And you'll notice I'm in my pajamas again um, because it's like 4 o'clock in the morning. So I do have other clothes, by the way. I just don't ever seem to wear them when I'm down here. Uh, I remember going to a crop and we all got in our pajamas and crafted all night. And I thought, yeah, that's what I usually do. Anyways, um, that's more information, I guess, than you need to know. Okay, I'm going to go. Check out this paper. It's gorgeous. I love it. I love these little stamps too. And I'm going to stamp them tonight. I might come back with a video and show you what I've done.
because they're so cute. Then on the other hand, you know, I might just hoard them and not do anything with them. <laughs> oh God, I gotta get a life. Okay, bye.